done a few scene Lara uh, tutorial videos and I kind of realized I kind of skipped over some of the basics so I just want to go over some just basic video editing before I go any further with the tutorials uh, and just kind of review some of the basic stuff we've gone over. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a video. I'm going to hit O. I'm going to select uh, tape B here and I'm just going to replace the current project so it just will wipe out anything that's there and add in this video here. Uh, I can drag through a timeline up here and see what's going on in the compositor window up here. Now right now I have my uh, cut and paste editing mode tool selected here. It's a little eye cursor there. And I can highlight part of this uh, video and if I hit delete you can see it deleted uh, that part I had selected and moved everything over uh, to where the, the line was. So basically it didn't leave an empty space there. If I hit Z I can undo that anytime you can hit Z to undo your last thing or Z a few times to just undo stuff. Now if I hit X it cuts I can hit the end key and I can go to the end here or I can click anywhere I want uh, and then I can hit V to paste so it's X to cut delete to delete uh, if I hit C I'm copying and I can hit V to paste uh, and while we're looking at this here uh, if we hold down shift and you scroll your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out if you're zoomed in at a point you can click uh, this icon here and it will fit what you're working on to your your current view uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and if you look now we got two video clips here you can see as I move the cursor close here uh, you get the arrow pointing back and forth different directions let me zoom in a little bit maybe that'll help see uh, see how the arrow moves back and forth um, what that does depending on which way that arrow is facing depends on what you're editing if I'm on this side and I left click I can drag this video and you can see it moved everything back if I grab on with the arrow pointing this way and I drag you'll see that it actually shortened this video clip here and moved everything over now let's say see how I drag this like that and it moves everything past it in the timeline and we'll do that for any track that's active with these little red dots um, let's say I want to stretch this out but I don't want to move the clips after it uh, what you're going to want to do is center click so you do the same thing you grab the arrow on this side because that's the clip I'm editing is this one to the left here I'm going to center click and drag and it didn't move this video clip at all uh, so I can also stretch out this video because it, it was trimmed down and you can see it moves everything after that's left clicking now if I was to center click same thing it would resize it but it won't move everything in the timeline past where I'm clicking so that's the difference if you want the timeline to adjust use your left click if you don't want the timeline to adjust use your center click um, next thing I want to mention is if we go into settings preferences I mentioned in a previous video if you go to record you can down here to import uh, images at duration of and if you're going to do if you want a still image to work as a layer or an image or you're doing a slideshow you're going to want to check this and set it to five seconds or whatever length you want your still frames to be imported at you can always change them once they're imported um, by default that is unchecked and that will import a still frame at one frame per frame of your video rate which is 29.97 we'll just say 30 frames a second so if you import a image with that unchecked and I'll show you I'll click here I'll hit O to import and instead of replacing current project I'm going to insert at a uh, paste at insertion point and I'm going to go into my uh, photos folder here I'll just grab a picture and you can see the image was imported there. It's kind of small because Cinerella will import it at whatever resolution it's at. So if you want it to be the size of the video, you can import it. You resize it before you import it with GIMP, or you can resize it once it's in. But it all depends on what you're working on. But you really don't see it in the timeline. That's why if I hit Shift and I zoom in, you see it's there, but it's only taking up one frame. So it's a 30th of a second, basically. Now you can always grab it and stretch it out once you've zoomed in. Um, but that would be a pain when you're working with a lot of still frames so depending on what you do if you're doing an animation that you want the videos to be one frame per second or you've exported a video 
as a series of images and now you're re-importing them to re-compile uh, them into a video you'll want that but for the most part you're probably going to want that checked and five seconds is a good length but all depending on what you're working on another thing if we go to playback um, this might be checked by default I somehow checked that and that's why I was having some problems the other day with playback if you have playback every frame it can cause problems while you're playing a video back especially if you're adding effects and transitions things can run real slow so make sure that is unchecked you do not want that checked and uh, video drivers uh, I've recently found out that really depending on your system but most systems if you hit choose X11 OpenGL um, that is going to be the best for playback on your system click apply to those and OK now also I mentioned in a previous video if you hit shift T it adds a video track which you can also click on that track and click delete if you wanted uh, but if you just hit T you'll see it added an audio track down here to the bottom and I'll hit T again so now I have uh, stereo tracks if you click on here once again you can see that this one is going to be a left audio track and this one's going to be a right you can tell by this icon here and you can actually have your audio pan but if you import a video that is already stereo it will create two audio tracks for you one for each uh, audio track uh, once again you can right click and delete these tracks it will delete anything that's in those tracks so make sure there's nothing you want in there I'm gonna hit shift T once again to add a, another video track now if I hit O to import and I paste an insertion point and I select another video also if you click right here it brings up folders you have previously been to so it makes it easier getting around instead of going all the way out and all the way back in I'm gonna import this video now you'll notice when I import it it adds it to that video track but it also overrid the audio that was on this track for this video clip right here because I had those audio tracks selected now uh, if I hit Z I can undo that um, what you want to do is if you don't want uh, the audio for that second clip just uncheck the tracks you're not using hit O and then you can import it and it imported on this video track here because it's the top one with this red light on but no audio for it now at the same time if I wanted to import it with video uh, I mean import the video with audio but I don't want to override any of the stuff that's there what I can do is I'll delete that extra video track I made when I hit O I can um, append new tracks so now when I select that video it added it to its own tracks down here and it's all depending on what your project's going to be like I'll give you an example of what I normally do um, I'm just going to start a new project here and I'll hit O and I'll import one of these videos so this is see I already selected the wrong thing not that it's a problem in this case but I didn't want to append new tracks I want to replace current project I'll import that video so I have this video track now I would trim out this video this is my main video some people call it a roll and I delete out any parts I don't want and uh, then what I would normally do once I get this all how I want I'd hit shift T I'd select here and I would turn off these tracks because I don't want to edit these anymore these are how I want them I would hit O and I would paste an insertion point and I can go to where I have other video clips which would be my b-roll as some people would call it and I would go to I'll just go here and I'd select holding down shift and select a bunch of these videos and now I have my b-roll over top of my a-roll and I can move those around as we were saying before by dragging like so with the mouse oh but I dragged it the wrong way and resized it so that's it I wanna end this tutorial because I only have 10 minutes on YouTube but those are some basic clips also you know I can double click there and it selects that clip line if I hit delete it's only going to delete stuff from the active timeline which is this one right now because it's red so I can hit delete if for some reason I had these audio tracks I'll select one of them to show you make it more visible I'll select this video here delete you'll see that the audio now is off 
because it deleted that section of that audio because I had that track selected. So once you have tracks in place on how you want and you're not working on them, make sure you unselect them by clicking on these red uh, icons here or hitting tab can turn tr the track that your cursor is over and if you shift tab it selects the track you're over and deselects all the other ones so if I had these three tracks selected and I want to work on this track I can put my cursor over it shift tab and it deselected these three and selected those for more videos and tutorials like this visit filmsbychris.com I hope you enjoyed have a great day.